If you're watching this video, chances are you're at a point with your Google ads where you're actively running them, but you're not actually getting more conversions or the ads aren't optimizing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually optimize your Google ads to get more conversions, actually get your Google shopping campaigns to target keywords that are more specific to your product while also going through the process of elimination with several products within your ad groups. Now this is going to work great for multi-product stores, so general stores where we're going to have multi-single product ad groups, but this can also be incredibly effective when it comes to ad groups where you have several different ad groups for different variations of that same product. So this right here is what I'm talking about. So when we're running a single product, what we're going to do is we're going to separate the ad groups based on variations of that same product. So you can see we have the three different variations, but if we're running a general store or a multi-product store, you're actually just going to separate them into individual product ad groups. So you have product number one, two, and three. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of elimination for these products or these variations, but we're first going to go through the process of narrowing down to ensure that we're giving it the best chance of succeeding before we actually go through the kill process. So the way that we do that is like this. So you can see here we have several different products in this product line. This isn't a general store. This is a niche store, but I am launching several different products within a single product line. Now, once I launch these several different products, you can see these ones are brand new launches. We've only spent $14, but we have quite a bit of data coming in. Now what we want to do is we want to start optimizing these different products and as you can see we have them separated at the individual ad group levels and we do this so that we can optimize each individual product without messing up the information or data from the other products. So what we would want to do is we would want to go ahead and click into the product ad group and then once you're in here what you're going to want to do is go over to insight and reports and then we're going to go into the search terms tab. Now once you get into the search terms tab what you're going to notice is a lot of these search terms will be coming through and they may not have clicks yet. You can see these ones do have clicks, but we have all of these search terms that have no clicks, but they're getting some impressions. You can see some are getting one, but some might be getting more like these ones. You can see they're getting in the 20s, 16s. So what this means is Google's giving attention to these search terms for this product. And what we want to do is we want to tell Google exactly what our product is through the process of elimination. So what you would do is even if the search term is only getting impressions, and has no clicks, if it's not even remotely relevant to your product, you're going to go through the process of elimination right away and you're going to go ahead and select all those search terms that are not relevant to your product and you're going to go ahead and add them as a negative keyword. Now once you do that, what you're going to notice is there's going to be some keywords within these search terms that generally will identify different search terms that are 100% not going to be applicable to your product or any products in your product line. This is when you're going to want to go to tools and settings up here at the top and inside tools and settings you want to go to negative keyword list. Now inside the negative keyword list you can use some of the ones that I have here if you really want to but you're also going to want to go ahead and include your own based on the keywords that you're finding within those search terms. There might be one that's specific to your product where it's just generally not going to convert and you want to make sure that that's added to your general list that you're then going to apply to your campaign. So you can see I have a lot of ones to do with like Amazon cheap drop shipping coupon and I have them added as phrase match because I don't want any search terms with any of these keywords in them showing for my product. So I've gone ahead and I've added all of these and once you have this master negative keyword list then what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and down here what you want to do is you want to click on apply to campaigns. Now inside apply to campaigns find the campaign that you currently have active and go ahead and apply this negative keyword list to to that campaign and what we're going to do is as we continue along we're going to continually add to this negative keyword list and this will be specific for if you're running one single product or if you're running a general niche store with the general niche store having more broad keywords like this stuff that you just really don't want Google to be targeting now once we have that in place this is something that's very important that's typically overlooked by a lot of Google advertisers and that's implementation of automated structures on the back end of your Google 
Google Ads. So the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna go back over to your campaign section and inside your campaign section, what I want you to do is go ahead and click on the recommendations tab. Now once you get into the recommendations tab, you're gonna have a bunch of different stuff going on here. Go ahead and ignore that unless you feel like you wanna implement some of these things. But what we're gonna do is instead, we're gonna actually go up to auto apply. This is gonna be Google's automated rules that are gonna to apply to all your campaigns within your Google Ads account that will ensure that you're actually optimizing for the best possible keywords and Google's doing a little bit of the heavy lifting for you automatically on the back end. So inside here, you're gonna see there's two different options. You have maintain your ads and grow your business. Now we're mainly gonna be using maintain our ads because grow your business is generally just gonna be Google implementing stuff that will spend a bunch more of your budget. And unless you're running massive campaigns, we're talking like hundreds of thousands of dollars, I generally would not recommend using any of these. But underneath maintain your ads, you're gonna see we have this section right here and we have nine recommendations. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go through and turn on all the ones that I have turned on right here. So under ads and assets, we wanna use optimized ad rotation. Under keywords and targeting, we wanna remove redundant keywords, remove non-serving keywords, remove conflicting negative keywords, and use optimized targeting. Now, underneath here, it does explain what each of these do, but I'm not gonna get into that. You can go ahead and click the learn more too if you wanna learn exactly what they do. Continue on down here, we have measurement. This one, you're also gonna to wanna to turn on upgrade your conversion tracking. Now, this is gonna make sure that your ads are fully optimized on the back end, and then you're gonna continue the optimization process on the front end of your entire Google Ads campaign. The next step in the process of elimination is removing products within the actual campaign that aren't performing well. With this, it's gonna be the same even if we're running a single product store or just an individual product launch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process of elimination for the variation of that product, removing potentially variation number one because it's not performing, and leaving variation number two and three running because they are performing. Now, when you're in your ad account and you remove a variation, what's gonna end up happening is these ones are gonna continue on on, but the budget is gonna stay the same. So let's say we were running this campaign with a hundred dollar budget. Now what's gonna end up happening is we're actually optimizing our campaign, but technically also increasing our budget for our best performing ad groups because now this $100 budget right here is gonna be spread only across these two different variations of the product, or in this case, it would be spread across two different products within that campaign increasing the amount of budget that's gonna be spent on these products. Now, a really important thing is when you start off with these campaign structures where you have the individual products or the variations of the products, is you don't want to introduce new products into this campaign once you've removed one. So let's say we go ahead and we remove a variation. You don't wanna add another variation into this campaign. I've tested this several different times and adding another product or adding another variation into the same campaign tends to mess up the optimization of the other two variations because whenever you introduce a new variation or a new product into a campaign, I've noticed Google tends to place priority on that product or that variation taking away all the money and taking away all the optimization that it should be implementing on these ones right here that you've already identified as the better options. So let's say we've started off, typically I wouldn't recommend just starting off with three. I recommend starting off with five to 10. So that would be five to 10 variations or five to 10 different products within the campaign itself. Once we've gone through the process of elimination, now let's say these three performed well, and now we're progressing forwards. Instead of having five within this campaign, we now have these three performing and continuing along. So now what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've increased the budget just through eliminating another product or another variation, but it doesn't stop there. Now that we have these three products running, what Google's gonna start doing is it's gonna start optimizing based on those individual products. So you're gonna know 
notice you're going to get a ton more search terms coming through for those products because more money is being spent and more optimization is being focused on those individual products or variants. So you want to continually go through this process of elimination on all different fronts while still having that backend automation activated through Google, just helping remove some of the clutter. Now, once you've gone through stage one of elimination with products, let's say now you have three that are performing well, but then suddenly variant number two or product number two isn't performing as well anymore. You don't want to kill this product. It's already made it to stage two or this variant's already made it to stage two, which means you don't want to kill the product. You want to figure out where things are going wrong. Now, when it comes to figuring out where things are going wrong, you want to go into your ad groups. Inside here, what you want to do is you want to go over and you want to look at your average cost per click. What could have ended up happening, and this is typically the most common reason, is you've increased your cost per click beyond the point where it's actually profitable. So if you've noticed you were getting sales or that product or variant was performing and suddenly now it's not because you went up five cents or 10 cents with your cost per click, what you want to do is you want to give it a couple more days to see if it's going to catch on. And if it doesn't, you actually want to lower your cost per click back down to that cost per click that was actually performing well. Through these little processes of optimization, you're going to notice a massive boost in your Google ads performance, increasing your ROAS while also ensuring that your budget is getting spent on the best possible search terms for your product, ensuring that all of your money is getting spent on the most relevant search terms. Now, if if you want to continue to optimize your Google ads and actually learn from me and other members of my team, go ahead and join my free discord link down below in there. You can ask me any questions you have in relation to Google ads.